Like most museums, the RF Museum and the NBCC heavily relies on volunteers to help us operate. I've got 10 staff, 6 apprentices and currently on the engineering and conservation team we've got 50 volunteers who cover a range of uh, subjects for me, also look after vehicles and do some of their own projects. In 2005 the museum identified a skill shortage in the heritage industry uh, so we decided to start an apprenticeship scheme. At any one time we've got 6 apprentices here so that's uh, 3 years, 2 apprentices per year. We're teaching them basically airframe skills within house, but in the, at the college they learn uh, general engineering, welding, that machine work and that sort of stuff. We have a mentor, one of the senior staff, uh, John or Ella, who help to look after the apprentices, who give them the hand skills, because uh, typically when they come in now, they don't do very much metal work at school nowadays, so we have to teach them just about everything they need to learn. So around about after the six month point of having the apprentice here, we give them a test job and that's a sort of accumulation of all the skills they've learnt like marking out, drilling, countersinking, as you can see as well, shaping metal, external patch there, but also as well something that's big in the aviation industry is insert patch repairs as well. And also on the sides here you can see they've made some formers, shaped to make the metal. Um, the other good thing as well with this as well, it allows them to work with their hands inside so they can get a practice at doing some wire locking, stuff like that, where they can't actually see what they're doing. So we have 10 staff, 6 apprentices, but ably supported by, at Cosford, 50 volunteers who help out on a day-to-day -day basis here. Uh, mu no museum uh, would exist really without their vital support. Here at Cosford we have uh, individual teams like the Belfast team, and uh, the engineering team that look after the vehicles. We've also got an electrical team who are going around doing some electrical installation, low wattage uh, LED uh, enhancing our exhibits. And also some of them have been here for a long, long time. Uh, some have been over here for here now for 45 years plus. Most of them have come from a variety of engineering backgrounds. West Midlands is, used to be a huge aviation industry and that's where a lot of them have come from, transfer from the factories and the, the companies down the road and come up here to support us here at the museum.